My name is Sebastian Grosso. My name is Steve Angelo. My name is Axwell. We are the Swedish House Mafia here at Metropolis Studios in London, finishing the vocal version of One. We're here. In London, in the studio, Swedish House Mafia. We're um, going through um, our single One. And um, here we are. Yeah, this is actually not our studio. This is this is our studio, our actual studio. This is Metropolis in London. Did you say that? It's no, nice. I didn't say that. But we like to be in a big place when we're all together. So we sit sometimes behind places like this and put all up our laptops up and and feed everything into one computer. And uh, today we are kind of putting the finishing touches on the vocal version, um, which features Pharrell. So we put him on the track and cut it up and. Then do a little bit of mastering, very little. Actually, uh, Axwell had an idea about looping sounds like, uh, you know, like the intro is like and do melodies uh, of the looped sounds. And uh, he wanted like actually to the hi-hats being looped as well and stuff like that. But we only did the kick because that, is, that, that didn't sound good, right? So, yeah. It's a loop kicked, double tempo up, pitched, yeah. um, forming a, to a, baseline. a baseline, basically. Yeah, it took kind of a while to make. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we sat there and passed around the computer for a while to... So it's a loop of the kick that is the baseline. And so So on. the baseline is a kick, yeah. basically. Exactly. Yeah, that's what that's how it's gonna stand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um. And then what else do we have? What else do we have? We have some fat ass beats, of course. Goes a little something like this. <laughs> Two kick drums. Obviously this one being the fatter one. And this one being the top kick. And then we got some nice claps on there. Chord, courtesy of Synplant, makes interesting sounds. And then we got some silent Lady Gaga sounds over here. <laughs> this is where the rave begins. Some chords. That's very rave-ish. Yeah. We like ah, it. Ah, this is sort of, this is rave. And then, oh, that's nice. This is the rave shit that comes over here. This one here. We thought about changing that sound because we thought it was really rave, but then we sort of thought it kind of, kind of works as it is. In appearance it did. Yeah, so far so good. Yeah, there we go. The classic build-up. Yeah. This is also cool. This one goes up the whole time. makes the track really bounce because it's 125 BPM but it feels like it's 133. Yeah, so this one goes up. Took a while to make this go up as well because we had to download a plugin. That took a long, <laughs> <laughs> took a long time to download the plugin. We bought the plugin. Yeah we bought the plugin. Yeah. And then we go into the the chorus kind of thing. There's a lot of melodies and layers going on here. Obviously And then we we'll go back into some chord, piano. Piano is uh, from the core. Sounds like this. But then we put the O zone on, and it goes like boom. What happened, <laughs> what happened there? What happened there? And we have some compression on as well. Ah, oh, that's just Logic's own compression there. The Ozone is supposedly, you know, something that you use on, on your master. It's a mastering plugin, but... I kind of like to use it on the yeah. individual sounds, it's too. It's good for making shit jump out the speakers. So, here's the, the 
bass that is the kick loop. Can I turn it up a little bit? Yeah. yeah. And then we have a sub bass as well. And then we have some the rave line. The rave line. <laughs> yeah. Not the magazine. And the chords go. Another rave bass. And don't forget the top kick. That's very important. It's really important. What else do we have? TR808, and it all comes together like. And then we have Seb's massive claps. Where did you put those? <laughs> Seb's claps that goes. Where is they? Where is they? There. And to top off the professor session here, I've got to show you the extra melodies that we did in the end. Because none of us are, uh, are musicians, I guess that the, the guy that can play keyboards is Seb, mainly. And, I don't uh, know if I can play. But keyboard. we all know. <laughs> we all we all go into the to, to the hyper editor and uh, or what's it, what's it called? The Matrix. Score. Yeah, we made the piano roll. These piano days. roll. Yeah, and we went crazy there with uh, the melodies. So what's nice about this one is that all the different instruments play different melodies. It's an old trick that was uh, used by Chick, I think. Like they had the bass play some notes and then the guitar play some notes of the chord. So the chord came together by the different instruments. So the we, harmonies. Yeah. Which so we are because Chick. sometimes you, you have, sometimes you play all the synths play the same chords and then it gets too, too much. Exactly. So, so this way you... You let it breathe. Exactly. So what's with the vocal? Yeah. Let's put it on. So what we've done here basically is we uh, run the... We did a cappella of all the stems of the vocals. And uh, we used uh, de We used EQs just to get the ifs and the out of the out of the way. Um, run through the table, add Some a little bit, of, add a little bit of bass to the to the backing track, just to sum up and you know get a get a you know nice fat sounding sounding master. Uh, and the most important thing of this table, why the only reason why I use it is because the compressor. It has a very very nice compressor. It's very clear. It's in the face. It has a good attack. Uh, quick release and uh, the makeup is, sounds really good. So uh, that's what we've done, that. basically. Yeah. So actually, you want to tell us about melodyning? So yeah, we did a lot of melodyning on the vocal uh, because we didn't have much to work with. It was just a few, a few phrases that we had to sort of build you our own melodies the... from. Like you can play in the end there. Yeah. I yeah. want to know your name. Oh. I want to know your name. That's a you just kill that me. Could you wait, please it's, it's do that? just one lead that Everything we made Everything is into. basically yeah. reharmonized. It's, it's one lead that we then... I want to know your name. Your name. I want to know your name. We used to play that section before. Your name. Your name. Your name. Right? Where? Where like it's just one lead that becomes this. I wanna know your name. I wanna know your name. You just kill me. Could you All the harmonies, do everything. I wanna know your name. I wanna know your name. A better yet, that's professor. That's professor shit. That's why we run this shit. <laughs> so that that oh, yeah. crunching or something like that. Yeah. Is that from Melodyne or is that? No, no. We uh, we sent one vocal to Nigel, the the, the guitar amp processor in so UAD. I wanna know your name. So we. Name, 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 yeah. Name, we uh, we did some. Sometimes it's nice to send some vocals to a guitar amp. 
to make it a little bit interesting. I'm going to know your name. How did you find Melodyne quality-wise when you were working with it? Doing Great. Yeah, Great. I mean, uh, it's Just some so. some take some of the uh, top end away a little bit. It makes it a little bit color. like uh, MP3, but you know you can always. It's, it's sometimes it makes some it makes some crackles and pops on, on stuff. Yes, uh, sometimes exactly. stuff goes weird. But you know, considering what you can do with it, you, you kind exactly, of say, exactly. okay, okay, no, exactly. no worries. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. So today it was just about about uh, leveling those two together. Yeah, just yeah. Sum, summing yeah. it, getting a good mix out, out of it, and, and just. So do we have it? You know, the only reason why we are in big studios is because there's big speakers. It's not because we need all of this. And because but we you listen can get to those, those the whole thing. Yeah, but we use like we use what are we doing now? Six channels. And you three can get stereo takeaway channels. Food. The food and, is also uh, good. You can get good food, and yeah. the coffee is no, coffee yeah. is pretty bad actually. Yeah, but but, but um, the fact that you can get I like the what was they those are burgers? getting an espresso machine. On How Monday. good were those burgers? Burgers are good. And that was yeah. those, the best burgers I've had. Just to finish off, tell us about uh, what was on the master channel for, for this one in the logic session. In the logic we session, we can tell you. Is it still a secret? We can't tell you. Yeah. What but we you do. know what? I can tell. Honest, I can say one thing. We used an EQ. Safe to little about. We, we used an EQ. <laughs> <laughs> we used Why an should e we tell them? We used an EQ and then the SSL compressor. And the compressor. In Ingrossor. Yeah. <laughs> and the we, we have a special machine called the Ingrossor. <laughs> it's kind of like the distressor there. <laughs> but it says Ingrossor. Yeah. yeah we, we, and it's kind of different because... We tweeted a picture of it in LA, just the, the demo version of it. We have it there. But the thing is, the thing is, uh, what's on the master doesn't really make the track uh, on this one because Oh, I mean, we sometimes can mute up can, the master and it still sounds good, yeah. you know? Sometimes you exactly. can, sometimes when you put uh, too much on the master, you, you, you sort of get by by not making the parts individually energetic good. enough. So that's why it sounds like, mm, used to do that a lot before we had a mastering exchange and then you just shove stuff in and it sounded pretty good. Mm -hmm. But now we sort Yeah, of, but if you go back and listen to the stuff yeah. we did three years ago, yeah. it's kind of like, so now why we, did we do that? Now we're sort you of know? trying to it's not... Like no. We don't really <laughs> yeah, um, like, we don't really work with the master. <coughs> I don't do it. It's after you told me to not do it. Yeah, I mean we I, I have my I have my chain at home, you have yours, you know. We have analog stuff. We I'm using uh, you this we're all using good. SSL analog compression and EQs and uh, you know summering and stuff like that and you know we have our you know if you do something yeah. like vocals and, and, and you have the track and the vocals you should have, you know, separate them. Not on the same output because it gets the air in between. You get the the whole. But the people that say that the plugin sounds equally as good are is, is wrong because I mean it sounds the same in terms of what it does. It does the same. Yeah, but, to the, but it doesn't sound as big. You can't big. compare the waves uh, as a cell compressor to a original or to a real. SSL compressor. But my it's favorite like plugins is day and night. Yeah, waves. If you go into like yeah, waves have good yeah. stuff. But it's like, you know, especially the compressors. You can't get that with a plugin because no. it does something. It, it brings something. It sounds it, America. It sounds <laughs> no. You you used to it. It sounds radio. What you hear on the radio every single day, that's what it sounds like. So you're used to the sound. It's it's just because we are used to hearing tracks mixed on the SSL. So when we hear things go through an SSL, it depends how you, we know how what you it sounds like. compressed as well. If you want the kick to notch or if you want, you know. So should we find a, should we, should we bounce it in and yeah. uh, burn it on the CD so we can play it tonight? <laughs>